So here's the classic dilemma Alpha Investments finds himself part of, and it's not a really fun place to be. Either he knew MetaZoo was a scam, but he promoted it anyway to get money, and therefore he is very intelligent, right? Very intelligent, and he's the only one who really benefited from this. There's only a few times you can do it, though, before even the dumbest individuals will figure out, "Uh uh-oh, something is wrong, guys. Or he didn't know it was a scam, and he's terrible at giving advice about what to buy. Either way, we should never ever be listening for him for advice. So again, let me let me present two alternatives to you. And these are the only two alternatives I can understand. Because they're the only two alternatives that make any sense. Either he is an individual who knew MetaZoo was just a scam and chose to promote it anyways, i.e. he was okay with the rug pull. Or he's an individual who did not know it was a rug pull, but is so terrible at giving financial advice that he told his patrons and his who pay money, by the way, many of them pay money to get financial advice. Right? They they do. Without a doubt, they pay money. Many of them pay money for to get those emails where he tells people what to buy. And oh, luckily, lucky you guys, I have the item that you want to buy. So lucky. Or this was just a scam from the very get go. And he was part of it. He Mike. He met the Mike Waddell character. There is people highly concerned right now that their pre-orders are not getting paid out. There's chargebacks out the wazoo. Everyone and their grandmother is trying to charge back their pre-orders. And uh, depending on how nice their bank are, is, we'll see how many of them do get it. But there's no other option. You might say, oh, well, what about a shifting option where... Rudy knows, and Rudy in the beginning believed it was not a scam. He started getting promo cards and play mats and promo cards and play mats and, you know, mystery boxes, 6 9 mystery boxes. Um, yeah, I mean, I guess if you're an idiot, you can believe that. But that means if originally he didn't believe it was a scam, at some point in time, he must have realized either he had very low intelligence or at some point in time he realized this thing is a scam. I need to get out of it for my own protection. I can tell you two months ago, if you watch that video, which will probably be deleted soon, on Native, he was hyping the crap out of Native. That was two months ago, by the way. That was two months ago. We're not talking, it would be unfair for me to take a video a year ago, even nine months ago, even six months ago. But I took a video two months ago where he's still pumping MetaZoo to the moon. In fact, he's saying the, the very video title. I mean, if if only the Timmies could read, right? His His very video title, guys. And again, this is a market where he probably controls. Let me read you the title. Unbelievable. All caps. Four dots. Dot, 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 dot. Native. Which is the screenshot. And there's a graph of it going to the moon. Holds 100 plus in a bear market. So what he's suggesting is that this is a great investment. Because... In a bear market for something to go up this way, man, everyone got to get their hands on it. Oh, oh, I know who has this. I have this. There's no doubt in my mind. You can convince me. You can make an argument a year ago, okay, where the MetaZoo negativity isn't like today or two months ago. 
two months ago, everyone and their grandmother told Rudy the same thing. Hey, Rudy, we are concerned. The roadmap, the... I mean, <laughs> two months ago, guys, we're almost done in January. Uh, as of this video, it would be three months ago, right? Or two and a half months. Whatever time period it is, at some point in time, you can't keep making videos saying native 100 plus in a bear market. At some point in time, you can't tell people to keep buying this, guys. At some point in time, even if you originally did not realize it was a scam, you're either intelligent, realize it was a scam, the earlier you realize it, the more intelligent you seem to be and better at pre making financial predictions, or you knew it was and you didn't care because of all the money and the promos and the crown eaters that you get to sell. So you're either very bad at giving advice as to what goes up and what goes down in the TCG marketplace. And why would, why would we think Rudy knows what's going on? He doesn't even know what the most valuable cards are. When he opens people's boxes, he has no idea. He doesn't own any Weiss SPs. Now he's promoting Weiss again. He doesn't own any of these cards. Like, why would we, why would any of us come to the conclusion that this guy is some type of expert in what boxes to buy? Oh, it's because he told us so. And he has all these old boxes. How did he get all these old boxes of magic, by the way? Is because he bought bonds of Carnival Cruise Line. It had nothing to do with investing in cardboard. Let me repeat this again. If you go back to the OG Rudy videos, which I used to love watching, by the way, he invested in the bonds of cruises, which at the time was very low, and many people thought they were bankrupt, and therefore there's the premium right there. He didn't make his money, and he has the restaurant, but he didn't make his money selling until recently. Until MetaZoo and Magic Selling, the original Rudy Chan was breaking down boxes and selling singles on eBay. You can see it. I promise you, that's what happened. There was no Patreon, there was no... The idea that he's some type of cardboard genius is wrong. Because that money didn't come from flipping magic cards or any the money came from bonds something he really doesn't want you to invest in bonds and stocks and you know actually actual investments right enjoy your natives